The perception of the international investors about the Dutch economy is at odds with reality. We actually see that consumer confidence here in this country is, is, is quickly recovering again. The, the evidence is, is obvious. Um, the, the country, the Netherlands, is still AAA rated. It has amongst the lowest unemployment rates in Europe. And GDP per capita is actually one of the highest within Europe. It, it, it's exactly that gap between um, uh, perception and reality that offers international and national investors a fantastic opportunity to get back to the Netherlands and, in, and, and invest in, in, in Dutch real estate again. We have already seen in the Amsterdam market about 20% of the office oversupply taken out the market for alternate uses. So we're beginning now to see a rebalancing of the market and a rebalancing of the oversupply problem. We think that as valuers we will see a more stable environment and uh, a more security for all players in the market as they see that the market oversupply is much more in balance and there's a much more sensible approach to development. Yeah, we're taking you to the Amsterdam Southeast area which is a secondary office market in the Netherlands that has performed extremely well in the in the, in the, in the, in the last three or four years. This area has proven to be very successful um, uh, because of the availability of all different facilities, uh, the availability of excellent public and, 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 and uh, private transport and, uh, and leisure. Since a few years now we see this market recovering from a really tertiary market to a very good secondary market where vacancy rates have dropped from 30% to almost 10% now. And that attracts very popular, very good tenants such as headquarters of the Deutsche Bank, ING, who are vesting here in this area. Investors in, in the Dutch real estate market have been very reluctant to devalue and really hoping uh, for, for a quick recovery, so to say. And that has caused the gap between book values and the real value of real estate to widen continuously. We at CBRE have very much led in a, uh, the devaluation in an Anglo-Saxon kind of way and driven uh, the values down in reflecting market sentiment. And I think it's taken the Dutch market some time uh, to catch up with that. But I think at last now we're at a point where prices are realistic and I think now we'll have the benefit of that and we'll see an upswing in, in the market and an improvement in general activity. If we compare what we've been doing uh, this year compared to last year, uh, it's, it's a complete different story. Uh, we are pitching more, uh, we are actually closing some significant deals at the moment and we're also preparing some new deals to bring to the market. I think this is, this is a positive sign. Um, price perception of buyers and sellers are aligned. We believe the liquidity is back. We have a positive outlook on the near future. Uh, the Netherlands is, is, is a stable economy and, and the risk return profile for investing in Dutch real estate is at this moment actually very, very, very good.